Okay, crackhead. <laughs> well, that was filmed here, that uh, scene from Eastbound and Down where he was sniffing the silver paint. And he's like, what, you, what are you doing, giving a blowjob to RoboCop? Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast that has not one, but two monoliths. Monoliths. Do you remember a couple years ago there was a like a monolith, like this stone perfect like figure found in like the desert? There was another one found in like outside uh, Las Vegas, just like a random mirrored stone monolith. No, I didn't even hear about the first one, so no. I've never even heard that term, monolith. <laughs> it sounds like you're lisping, monolith. That's yeah. So it's just this big. God damn it! What? Is that real? Yeah. Another mysterious monolith. Yeah. Fell on a Las Vegas hiking trail. It's really <laughs> random. The police are investigating it, like it's some sort of bomb or something. Okay. <laughs> Ten, and you're ten, implying my ten. boobs are monoliths? Yeah. Monolith. Monolith. It's 10 feet. It's a 10 foot tall silver monolith. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Look at that. That's hilarious. Just people just, like, let's go out in the middle of the night and put the statue in the middle of nowhere. And it'll just freak, like a prank, basically. It'll make the news and everyone will freak out. Okay. It needs to be one of those, uh, what was that? What was that movie? Was it the second? Um, not, it wasn't murder mystery. Which was it? With the box that they all had to like figure out, like the puzzle to open it all the way up. I have no idea where you're... they were getting an invitation to go to like the thing. Oh you know, yes, no, no, no. Was, uh, uh, Craig. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, not not knives out, but the next one, un glass, glass onion. onion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that what one. If, what if it's like that? Yeah, you open it up and it's like. Banks it's got a... here or something. <laughs> what what else what else could it be? Okay. It's made it's made the news. Like you should put something on there. Yeah. And now, like, because it made the news again, I'm sure we're gonna see a bunch of them pop up all summer. Okay. Because people are gonna want to get some notoriety from it. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna build one from a cardboard box, paint it silver, stick it in the middle of monkey junction, then I'm gonna write number four on it. So people freak out. <laughs> I, I think I told you that, right? That was a that was a big like prank, senior prank that like the farmer kids did in my high school. They painted the numbers one, two, and four on three pigs and let them loose in the high school. Oh my gosh. So they thought that the third one was missing somewhere. You <laughs> yeah. know you're in the country when yeah. <laughs> livestock are being released. Well, what if we did the math? I think my uh, school district school district is like 150 square miles or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's crazy. And the city of Wilmington is like 30 square miles. So yeah, one high school had 150 square miles, but it was both urban and suburban. Anyway. Had a lot of money and big farms, all in the same school. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You're crazy. I'm going to take one of these big cardboard boxes. You're crazy. Uh, paint it, super glue it, He's not going to do it, guys, because that takes effort and follow through. I will. No. Yeah. Just what I need is like, I need another power outage, like that random one we had during the uh, um, Frozen Four. Mm hmm. That way I can actually put it out there without, without cameras. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So that okay. way everybody's like, why is there this? Oh my gosh, this whole mystery. There's mm -hmm. another monolith in Wilmington, North Carolina. And then they're going to. Crack Painted up. cardboard. <laughs> Crack it up and be like, okay. Okay. Okay, funny guy. <laughs> okay, crackhead. <laughs> well, that was filmed here, that uh, scene from Eastbound and Down where he was sniffing the silver paint. And he's like, what, what are you doing, giving a blowjob to RoboCop? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways. That'd be somebody I would love to get on the show one day. Danny McBride. That's his idol, by the way. The dude's fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. That's like, we I, we talked about this at one point. Like, I used to think that in order to be an actor or actress, like, you had to be attractive. But now you can just be ugly as long as you're funny. 
or you play some side character role. You're probably not going to be the main character. You can be, you can be Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie's little minion sidekick. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Which means I have a chance. I can make it into a movie. One day. One day. One day. I'm not going to try though because I really don't want to go to California. They film right here in Wilmington. Not really anymore. Not, like nobody, nobody wants. They're all doing it in uh, uh, Atlanta. No, not even Atlanta. It's South Carolina. In uh, yeah, that town in South Carolina. Like all the new. Uh, so the last episode or the last season of East Mountain Down mm-hmm. was filmed in South Carolina. Uh, Vice Principals filmed in South Carolina. The current show, Righteous Gemstones, filmed in South Carolina. Like that's like, that's like their new. Everybody that used to film in Wilmington now films there. That is not correct. It is correct. It's correct for Danny McBride and no, those they, select. It is not true for all of Wilmington there, now. There's been, there have been interviews where they're like, "We wish that we could have stayed there, but Wilmington obviously didn't want us, and it was not Danny McBride or anybody associated with him that was talking about it." Yeah, those studios have become like. CW shows like shit that nobody watches because they have animation that looks like gold. Iron Man 3 was filmed here. No, a scene from Iron Man 3 was filmed here. Most of Iron Man 3 was filmed here uh, that was not in a studio. Yes. No. Yes. Look it up. How much of Iron Man 3 was filmed in Wilmington, North Carolina? Most of that movie was in the snow. Uh, Iron Man 3 was filmed in many locations. It only says the location, it doesn't say the percentage. Uh, so more than one scene, because look at all the... However, some say you don't even see much of Wilmington in the final film. The footage is edited to make it look like a place in Florida. So only the scenes where it's warm, where he's in like that fortress, were filmed here. All the rest of the movie was filmed somewhere else. And I didn't even watch Iron Man 3. It's mostly in snow. I wouldn't know. He like flies off, has like some error, suit falls apart. He has to hire this kid to help him essentially and put the suit back together and try and power it up. Sounds really dumb. No, it's actually a good movie. I like it. Okay. So his name Killian Murphy is the bad guy. I have no idea. I don't know if that's his real name or if that's his character's name. Anyways. No, I say anyways. Anyways. You just have to sit there and look pretty. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said uh, that um, he and his wife love watching our show because they love the banter. By the way, like, get subscribed, comment, enter our 500 subscriber, $500 giveaway before July 1st Eastern Time. So 11.59. June 30th. Eastern Time on June 30th is the cutoff. After that, you will have to be entered into the next giveaway. We talked about that in the last video. Go back and watch that. But make sure you leave a like and comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. I'm sure the oldest daughter is sitting somewhere being like, I'm so proud of him. He remembered to say it. Good job. <laughs> so, um, moving along. Moving along. Let me go to my topic list here. Um, we talked about the monolith. Anything else you want to talk about about it? I didn't even know it existed, so now I don't have anything oh, to add to oh, it. Oh, 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 that reminds me. Oh, 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 See, oh. I hate, I hate sometimes how it sorts my, uh, I, okay. I actually think I want to ditch some of the stuff on this list. That's fine. And I want to go to this Reddit page that I just found today on okay. accident, right? Okay. So the Reddit page or the yeah. subreddit is called, what is it? And it's just people posting pictures and asking, what is it? Okay. So I want so you. So it to, could be literally anything. I want you to tell me what is what it. What is it? <laughs> well, it's attached to a shower. It looks like it's to be used to stimulate your clit. You sure it doesn't go inside? That's an outside thing. Oh, I didn't yeah. even think about that. Yeah, an inside or an outside thing? You tell us. I don't know whether. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it for a man or a woman? I don't know. That's so, just an inside thing. 
if it was for a woman, I would think it was external. If it's for, if it's for a man, then you know internal. What? You know what? This this looks like some ingenuity because most of this stuff is made out of plastic anyways. Mm -hmm. It looks like they took one of those detachable heads and they just three D printed their own custom. Cap oh my board. gosh! It's exactly what that looks like. It'd be very easy to do. Do you think this is in like some Airbnb and they're staying at this place and it comes with this Probably, detachable that head? Doesn't, that doesn't look like any hotel bathroom I've ever been in. Oh yeah, that's definitely not a hotel. Yeah, because there's no soap dispenser no. and stuff that are strapped to the wall like that one hotel. Yeah, that we went to in Utah. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to show you this real quick. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... It's called, I actually joined it because I really. Because you thought it was that funny? Yeah, I'm only, uh, the podcast is only joined to three subreddits, our own, the uh, unsubscribed podcast, okay. and then now this. What is it? Okay. They have 172,000 members, 2,581 are currently online. So that's, right now, that's still trending. That's still the top thing. I can watch any videos. Don't know what that is. What is that? Either that's a dead mouse in a toilet or yeah, really dirty tampon. <laughs> Have you ever seen a tampon? <laughs> Have you ever seen a tampon? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. That didn't nope. look that didn't look like a tampon. They're not to be used for gunshot wounds, despite what some fat bros will tell you. It actually does not stop the bleeding and doesn't do anything. Just have a tourniquet, get some quick clot, put pressure on it, whatever. Okay, you're supposed to show me pictures. <clears throat> I am. I just wanted to come into this randomly. <laughs> no idea. There's a jar. What was that thing? I don't know what that is. Hey, look, a monolith. <laughs> it's like a clear plastic. Man, I thought this was going to be funnier. What is that? Looks like a cockroach to me. Found it dead in my kitchen sink. They're literally, some of these are funny, and the rest of them is like, my dishwasher is broke. What bottle is this? <laughs> so people are just too dumb to read. Yeah. Oh, well. SpaceX stuff that people, those look like keys that just aren't cut. Yeah, keys to something. Oh, well. All right, I've got something for us. Do you, though? Yeah. So, obviously, you were not around when the children were young, but when the children... I wasn't. When children are young, uh, playdates are often... Playdates are often planned. Um, usually, it involves... Is this, like, is this like planned marriages? Or like... No, it it's like... It's like come over um, this afternoon so that our toddlers can play and and we can drink coffee and chit chat or whatever. That's usually how it goes. On the carpet. So this one mom sent a Venmo request to the other mom after the play date to compensate for the items that she had purchased for the play date not beforehand not letting the know the mom know you know i'm i'm going to be investing in oh, some arts and crafts or whatever so she sent a venmo request for 36 dollars to the other mom after they had already left the play date and the uh, mom the responded ask her in person because she knew she'd say no the mom responded with are you freaking kidding me like what the fuck and she said yes i'm serious food prices are so expensive lately i kept a running tab of everything that your son ate so i'm justified in my request one bag of goldfish three dollars one gogurt two dollars three squirts of soap while washing hands, one dollar. Two juice boxes, four dollars. It's it's cut off because um she took this, I guess, a video, it went viral. She took a video of her response and the text message correspondence between her and the other mom. Yeah, um second. so I can only Hold see second. Hold on a second. Sliding through. Sliding through. 
not recording yet, are you? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. No, you're not really, are yeah. you? Yeah. No, it's a continuing your story about this mom. Oh yeah. Really? So so basically yeah. she she asked for thirty six dollars on Venmo and the other mom was like, Fuck you, no way. I'm never coming to your house again and I'm not paying you for it. <laughs> I'd like to see what this person's house looks like. Oh, right. Like, I mean, I cannot imagine sending a Venmo request for anything. First of all, I've never done that. Second of all, for a fucking play date or having somebody over I'm gonna start doing it and see how people react. <laughs> like what? No, when you're hosting, when you are hosting, gonna, that is your job. Your I'm job gonna, is to from now on. Every time we have a barbecue, Venmo every, request after they single, leave. Every single one of them. Um, one dollar for around, the bun. I'm gonna walk around and tally everything that everybody. Five dollars for the burger meat. Yeah. Uh, fifty cents for the condiments that you used. Yeah. No, that's fucking bullshit. No, he's he's joking. He's that's a terrible, terrible joke. First of all, we'll put some. Uh, we'll make some like fake little dummy things that make it look like it's recording. Getting another phone call. Okay. Um, but it'll make it make it look like like count every time. Okay. Or I can have Cash walk around with a. Oh my gosh! And then people are gonna be like, "What are you doing?" And he's gonna be like, "I'm tallying you up." I'm making sure that you're not spending over your $10 allotted meal. If you go over $10, we're billing you for it. Mm No, -hmm. (laughs) no, 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 that's not funny. Nobody would ever come to our house again, ever. But it'd be funny to then show them this after the fact and then be like, no, no. Because yeah, because then we could, I could, we could just stay this video indefinitely and then we can add it as B roll. So anytime I, Back to play dates. Anytime I was ever invited over to somebody else's house, I always came with something, whether it was I baked banana bread or um, picked up Starbucks for the other mom or, you know, something. It had to be something. I couldn't ever arrive empty handed. So I do think that that. I need to bring like a 10 or $20 bill and call it a day. No, because that's weird. It's more valuable to me. I understand that, but I think that arriving with something in your hands to share no. is no. Did you see better. that? Did you see that um, text thread from the guy that was throwing a bitch fit because his wife didn't spend as much money for Father's Day as he did on her for Mother's Day? No. He, she got him, apparently he eats Subway like every day at work for lunch. Okay. So she got him a $100 Subway gift card. Okay. So it's and something that he likes. He took a picture of it and said, what the fuck is this? And she's like, That's rude. And she's like, that's your Father's Day gift. And he was like, what the fuck? I spent like $1,000 on you for Mother's Day. And this is all the fucking shit that you get for me. Fuck you. And apparently he had like paid for a vacation for her birthday to Cancun. I was like fuck your vacation i can get a refund still she's like what really he's like yeah your budget is a hundred dollars for your birthday now (laughs) (laughs) i didn't save it but i should have that's terrible yeah i was like so if if you especially especially if she's a stay-at-home mom doesn't have an income there was nothing and what other than did other than right so for all you know you know she got it at the hair cedar checkout you know from their joint checking account and she doesn't have her own income and did one of them i can't remember what did explicitly say this was our first time doing this for each other so whether that's like the first year they've been together or their first kid right or what the, or they never wow. did it before because they couldn't afford it i don't know but it's probably because um, of first kid so then he was like she was like i didn't say that you had to get those things for me and he was like you were putting pictures of things that you wanted on the refrigerator oh <laughs> like hinting at what you wanted okay okay and so that kind of implies that he didn't do that and he's like you didn't even put any effort into it uh uh-uh. But doesn't he benefit from some of the things that he got her for Mother's Day? Like the trip? No, no, no. That's birthday trip for an upcoming thing later. Oh. The the Mother's Day stuff, they didn't say what it was. He just said, oh, gotcha. That's a rack on you, which I believe is $1,000. All you youngins in your young terms. Yeah. 
a rack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I believe that's more than a thousand dollars. So. <laughs> yes. Gonna, a lot more than a thousand dollars. I'm gonna adopt. I'm gonna adopt that term. It's like, okay. what, what's the other? Um, oh my God! People say, um, "Get your bag." Yes. Yeah. Get your bag. Get your money bag, which could literally be a bag of pennies, or it could be a lot of dollar bills. I need a new bag. A bag of money or a purse? A purse. Oh, she conveniently says when her birthday is coming up in a month. And <laughs> actually, so I have um, all the way out through episode sixty-nine. I know what dates every. I was going through because I wanted to see. Does my birthday land on sixty-nine? I believe it's sixty-seven. Yeah. And wow. Actually, and actually, episode sixty-seven. Your birthday falls on Saturday this year. So 67 Are you going to do Thursday. something for my birthday? I do something for your birthday every year. Okay. Spend more than $100 on a Subway <laughs> gift card for you most of the time. One, You'd better. I mean, that one year, <laughs> that one year we kind of you can out. You can keep the Subway gift card for yourself because you're the one who likes Subway. I actually just asked. I will never eat Subway again. When I, go to Harris, I went to Harris Theater yesterday with Charlotte. Yes. I used, two, two days, ago. When, two I was days in, ago. when we were in the parking lot, I was like, I really want to go to Subway. She was like, no. Get in the car. We're going home. Yes, Charlotte. Yes. No, I like Subway. We've I already, know. We've already talked about this. I know. You're the one person left on the planet who likes Subway. Obviously, obviously not. not. This Actually, other guy does too. I, I believe. I, I think. I think they're the only um, company that owns more property than McDonald's. There's more Subway locations in the world than McDonald's. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. They just don't do as much, the volume of sales of McDonald's, does, mm. but there's more locations around the world. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't want food poisoning. No, thank you. I eat basically a cold cut. Like, I mean, it's Italian, but mm -hmm. spicy Italian, which there's nothing spicy about it. There's nothing spicy about pepperoni and salami, but I add all the good stuff to it. So, so, so moving along here, um, you've seen all the stuff, people talking about bird flu and all that shit coming back, right? Yes. So I was thinking because there's all these parody accounts for, uh, what's that dipshit from COVID? Fa Fauci, yeah. Fauci, yeah. I don't know how to say his name. Yeah. So I need to make. A parody doctor account. Doctor. And I'm going to. Wine. And I'm going to start. I'm seriously I'm going to start all these rumors of all these plagues and pandemics and shit. And I'm then just, when the FBI knocks on our door. It would have to go viral enough for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, did you see that that just happened to some nurse? Yes. The video can conveniently cut off. So who knows how that went, but. Um, you could tell he didn't want to be there in front of the doorbell camera, which, sorry, unless you have a warrant, you're not coming in. Right. Get fucked. You can stand right here. I'll close the door, too, and you can talk through the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just all you're going to do is incriminate yourself, assuming that you have committed some crime or broken some law. Right. Then there was another video of some police officer. I don't know where it was. The, the video footage was... Uh, the timestamp on the video is from like February, but it just got released. Okay. So I'm assuming whatever transpired, that was the footage was just finally released to the public. And this guy was at his uh, friend's shop that he owns working on his car okay. at like 2 a.m. And officer showed up because he saw the, or I don't know if he saw it or said somebody saw it, the overhead door was cracked. And he opened the door and he's like, oh, I'm working on my car. And the guy's like, well, I need to see some ID. Or the cop's like, I need to see some ID. He's like, This no. is my own shop? Well, no, he never he never lied. At least to the best of my knowledge, he didn't lie. He says, my friend's shop, I have a key. I know the alarm code. I'm the Gotcha. Here. And the cop was, like, trying to get him for trespassing. He's like, the alarm didn't go off. The owner didn't call you. Right. And you're just here to fucking harass me. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. What I originally thought when I saw the video or when I saw the thumbnail, mm -hmm. is I thought maybe somebody reported him for being too loud. 
no after. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because like you said it was at 2 a.m., yeah, so yeah. if there was any kind of residents nearby yeah. Yeah. and he was waking them up or whatever the yeah. case may be. Yep. But that wasn't the case? Or just some Karen that got up to get some water and saw the light on was like, I don't like that guy, and I don't want him out there right now. It's always a possibility. Always. Anything's possible so, these days. So the reason the water, getting up for a glass of water, the reason why that just came to my mind is uh, my buddy Adam Clemens. Okay. His girlfriend got up at 12.30 last night to go get a glass of water, and then she was going back to the room, and a six to eight foot-ish, couldn't really tell the scale from the video, um, black snake slithered into his bedroom as she was coming back to the room from getting water. Came out of the toilet, like no, it was just on the floor in the house, and they lived in the Raleigh area. Right, right. So yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how it got into the house. Came through the pipes. Yeah, came through what? It's not gonna come through the pipes. It could. There's probably some crack somewhere. Like you might have a crawl space and do whatever. But probably after a mouse or some other rodent got in there and got lost. I was like, all he wanted to do was cuddle with you. He wanted a little bit of body warmth. But when you, the thumbnail for the video. What would you do if there was a snake in your bed when you woke up? Snap its neck and fucking, I don't want it in my house. But, so, the, when you look at the thumbnail, mm -hmm. it's just like it's little, 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 little snoot sticking out of the, like, they picked it up in a trash can. So he's got like a cardboard box on top of it, he tilts it over, but the thumbnail that was auto picked by Facebook is just like the little snoot coming out. So I, I thought it was going to be like a baby snake, just like, and then like it just keeps coming out. Of I'm like, oh damn! Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I'll show it to you because. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. You don't seem to think it's funny. Mm hmm. Would you pick it up if I wasn't? See, look, like when you look at that right there. No, I'd grab a shovel and chop its head off. You're go all the way out to the garage. Yeah. Try to find the shovel. It's literally right next to the door. And then you come inside and. Slam a shovel on either the tile floor or the carpet. Carpet. Or but the hardwood, if, yeah. But what if the snake is in the bedroom? Or I mean in the bathroom. Well, then the I would turn the shovel around so it's on the flat and smash it. You know, that's a big trend people are posting. I know you don't know this, but that's a trend people are posting about. You don't actually kill a snake. All you do is injure it and then it suffers. I don't fucking care it's a snake. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to find out. That's like every... I don't know, 10th, 20th post that I see on social media right now is people saying don't hit snakes with shovels. I've had to kill one, and it was a baby rattlesnake on my front porch. It's an actual rattlesnake? Yeah, here? yeah. Well, in, when we were in Leland I, at my I, old house. I here in this yeah. area in general. Yeah. It yeah. was like medium-sized, about two of your arm lengths, and had its little... We just we had to kill a bunch of um, water moccasins all the time. Mm -hmm. So the ranger school, ranger students could do CW, CWSA. Okay. Yeah, We literally had these, you know, those um, uh, extendable poles that you get to like clean your pool? Yeah, yeah. We had a bunch of those with like hooks on them. Mm -hmm. Most of the pool students, they couldn't swim out of the water. But we would use them to, if you saw the snake on the water, you literally fucking hit it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every, all the time. Like, year-round. All the time. Yeah. We even had, like, a bucket off to the side. You'd scoop them out and put them in the bucket. And, yeah. I don't know what they did with them after that. They probably ate them. Ate them? I don't know. There's some, there are some, in the military, you have, you have city boys, and you have country, country boys, boys. And, yeah, I'm sure somebody probably made some boots. Somebody probably made a wallet. Somebody probably ate one. Somebody probably thought they were going to make some sort of poison darts. Like, if you can think it, these guys probably did it. No. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. No. What are you imagining they're doing with it? Just burning the entire barrel of them. Why? What the fun is that? They're already dead. 
Right. To dispose of the body. Okay. Duh. Could be like, um, all well, those, uh, Komodo dragons. Is it the Komodo dragon that does it? They don't actually have teeth, I don't believe. They just, like, bite really hard and let the poison, like, seep into you, and then they just kind of wait, and then they eat you whole. You're... I did not know that. Have you ever seen the video of them eating, like, sheep and stuff? No. Yeah, it's pretty depressing. No. No, no, Poor sheep. They'll be, like, wounded because they got, like, one clamp on them. Mm-hmm. And then I was waiting, and they, like, swoop in and just, like, a fucking pelican, basically. Completely whole. Oh, I no, okay. I have never seen that, ever. Yeah, so it's inside the belly screaming still. Wow. Yeah, that's really sad. So yes. let's talk about something funny. Don't see a video of that. No. Why? Let's talk about something funny. What about the draft and selective service? That's not funny. That's funny. Or uh, Noam Chomsky dying, rest in piss. I don't know who that is. Oh so Zillow has this new feature for rentals. Where instead of, you know, at the little, at the top left-hand corner of the featured picture, it'll say like new listing or something like that. How many people actually go on Zillow every day? Oh, it is a lot of people. It's like, it's like an addiction of, oh, what new house is there? Well, so this is, this is specific to rentals as far as I know and not for, so they have this feature where if a crime has occurred or a criminal lives there, it will show that as well. So there's one for sex offenders. That's there's awesome. one for drug use. Where's that? Right here, like drug use, oh, on sex list. offender. It's on the actual listing. You mean so, the archive. Archive is like the, the page with everything that you click through. So you have like a search. I want to look in this area. This is called an archive. Page. Okay, sure. Okay, so I need to... But it's specific to rentals. That's what I was saying. It's specific to rentals, okay. not homes for sale, as far as I know. And the new feature shows what criminal activity it has occurred or is occurring there. They must have no crimes in our area because there's nothing... <laughs> Or can I go there? We go rent. Uh, so would you rent, rent a home plans, that has? Plans, 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 plans. I, I can't talk when you're like blah blah blahing. No, I can't. Come on, talk. Anyways, would you rent a home that has a sex offender living there currently, or has previously, or known drug use? Like for all you know, is a whole, whole friggin' like meth lab. What would you do? Would you rent it? If it was nice enough, I'd clean it up. <laughs> Why not? There's literally this entire page. Not a single one of them has that. Mm-hmm. Let's see if there's a filter for it. Houses, apartment, condos, townhome, entire place, rooms, square feet, no end date. Has basements, number of stories, tours, pets, amenities, view, based on Zillow, and keywords. That's the only filter options they have in price. Mm-hmm. So you can't filter it out. Maybe it's not implemented, or maybe it's not true. Or it just hasn't Zillow Prime feature <laughs> occurred in our area yet. Trulia will remove crap. This is two years ago. Uh, how we decide where to live. Trulia to drop crime neighborhood data. This is all from years ago. Saying that they're dropping, putting it. Trulia is not Zillow. Okay, but show me where that's actually Zillow. It, I just did. But those are screenshots, and that's easy to edit. This is... How can you tell it's Zillow? Because right. I've been on Zillow 9,000 million times. Yeah, let's just see. Let's look up what's... Uh, what's Trulia? Trulia. 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 Anyways. Rent. No, no, sign in. Sure, I'll run San Francisco, California. That's what popped up by default. 
One day, yeah, it looks exactly the same. Pet friendly, pet friendly, sponsored, new, blah, 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 whatever. So they all have this. They all look exactly the same. Filters near Bart. What is Bart? Mm hmm. Okay. So you can filter for near Bart on Trulia. Okay. Uh, amenities, bathrooms, bedrooms, pets, type of rental, square fee, furnished keywords. Nothing about crime. So I'm thinking that you're, somebody just shared something that's old news and was removed. Okay. It is. That, that shit happens all the time. People reshare stuff and they're like, oh, this thing. Because a lot of times the algorithm will bring it back to the surface for some reason. Somebody will see it. I just saw this earlier. Um, it's commenting on something from like six years ago. And my comment before I saw when it was dated, because one of my friends quote tweeted it, before I commented on it, I realized that it said it was from six years ago. And I was like, oh. So I thought the person that had posted, that tweeted it, was bringing it back up. But no, my friend was quote tweeting something that was old. That's how it happens. It happens all the time. Anyways. So every time people are talking about, oh, it's going to be the biggest hurricane season ever, and they will share something from like four years ago. Anyway. When they say it was our biggest hurricane season ever, you think this year will be the biggest hurricane season ever? There's currently a tropical storm in the Gulf heading for Texas. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's not Hoktua, but there is one there. Gross. Yeah. If we have one, it'll be end of September. When's the last time... When's the last time the Carolinas had a major hurricane actually in the summer? Hurricane Fran, probably. When was that? The middle of summer when? in '97. There's got to be. There's got to be a website. How many times has North Carolina had a major hurricane in the summer months? Multiple hurricanes or tropical storms in the six week period from August to the yeah, okay. So, um, 2000 to present. Let's see. Let's look at those dates. Date 53 documented tropical cyclones from 2000 to present. Um, September, September, June of 2001, tropical storm. Uh, August 2001, tropical storm. July. Tropical yeah. storm is not a major storm. I know. I'm right. Just so, saying, so the ones, the, those two years were just tropical storms. Mm -hmm. uh, tropical depression, depression in August. We had an early August one, Hurricane Alex, August 3rd, 2004. Um, there were a bunch of them that year. Looks like. Oh, five to seven. We got depression. Oh, Hurricane Cindy, July 7th. And then that was it. June 14th, that was a tropical storm. May 7th, subtropical storm. June 3rd, tropical storm. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah. So it looks like the answer. Oh, there's one. Hurricane Bertha. 2008, July 12th. Bertha was 08. I from, forgot about that. Let's see here. May, no tropical storm. Blah, blah, blah. Hurricane Arthur, July 3rd through 4th, 2014. May 7th, was a tropical storm. May 30th, tropical storm. Um, yeah, so... We have squeaking children if you guys can hear that. <laughs> so it looks like almost never. It's tropical storm, tropical depression, subtropical storm. Again, to answer your question, the only major hurricane that occurred in the middle of summer here in the area was Hurricane Fran, which, if I remember correctly, was 97. Mm -hmm. Where were you? Did you evacuate or did you stay? I had family here from Denmark, and we already had a trip planned to the mountains. So we literally packed up the house and came back to an entire oak tree down. 
And then that was it. It it was not a planned evacuation. It was we already had a trip planned because you, they you, flew here from Denmark. Were you impacted in that? Was I what? Impacted. In that. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, but it, it, it hit the area pretty bad. We came back to no power for over a week. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice, but nice. <laughs> Need a generator. Okay, buy a generator then, Andrew. I will. One day. One day. One day. That way I can have a swamp cooler. What's a swamp cooler? It's a, essentially, it's a dehumidifier that's also a portable air conditioner. Okay. But effectively, that's what it is. It's, a, it's like what the refrigerator does. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a I'm not a air conditioning scientist. <laughs> what? These are gonna be the two most boring episodes. How many viewers do you think we're gonna lose? None. Okay, guys. They're gonna they wanna get subscribed and they wanna <laughs> They wanna get that five hundred dollar gift card. Yeah. Stick through it. This will be hold on. This is Monday's episode. What day is Monday? Today's the nineteenth. So Monday would be the 25th. So it'd be five days out from the end of the month. Yeah. So by the time you see this, we should have... Like... 24th, not 25th. Cool. Right. Oh, today's Wednesday. I was thinking... Cooper. Cooper. That's because he said no, today's Tuesday earlier. When the kids were talking about it. <laughs> Jesus, fuck me up. So yeah, so this will be you know, six days until the end of the month. Okay. So, five hundred dollars for five hundred five hundred dollars for five hundred subscribers. Five hundred subscribers. One person will be chosen to win five hundred dollars, and that'll be put in a random number generator. We'll bring it right on here, but you have to be subscribed. And I know that like sixty eight percent of you are not subscribed on YouTube. Most of you. How do you know that, Andrew? Because it tells you around the analytics. Oh, okay. It tells you the percentage of people that aren't subscribed and are subscribed to consume your content. Gotcha. And would, Do you think we have lurkers? Is that... All the people that are pissed off about Mike Glover. They're not subscribed. It's, it's just a, because they commented now, YouTube is recommending us all the time. That's funny. Which is exactly what I was trying to say. If you don't want to see the content, you shouldn't be commenting on That's it. That's funny. You are your own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. If you do want to continue to see the content, though, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Good riddance. Good riddance. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye.